to this day, I still remember my first visit from the tooth fairy. Right? I was really little. I just lost my first tooth. I did everything I was supposed to do. Put the tooth under my pillow, went to bed. And my grandma really wanted to spoil me because I was the first grandbaby in like a long time. And so that night, she went to my bed. She took my tooth and she put a $10 bill under my pillow. Whoa. Right? <laughs> this was $10 for my tooth. My mom was furious. <laughs> she was like, that's not sustainable, all right? We don't have $10 per tooth money in this household, okay? His teeth are gonna start depreciating in value and he won't know why. We're gonna have to lie to him and tell him that the tooth fairy broke. Do you see you've made his fancies poor now? <laughs> but I didn't care about any of that. I woke up and I was blown away. $10, it was the most money I had ever seen at one time, okay? I don't even know who this dude is. <laughs> $10 for one tooth? Next one already loose. <laughs> And so I got to thinking like, wow, if I save up enough of these, I can buy my own Lego set, right? I won't have to ask my parents for anything because here's the thing, when you're a kid and you ask your parents for something that they would love to give you, but they have to say no because they don't have the money, that shit hurts. And you don't get it, you don't fully understand because you're a kid, but you know something's wrong and I never want to make my mom and dad feel like that. I even got to thinking, if I save up enough of these, I can just give the money to my mom and help her with the rent, because she's always stressed about it. <laughs> and I was thinking about all this, when across from me, I was sitting outside in my house, and across from me, there's no polite way to say so. Across from me on the sidewalk, there was a crackhead that was dancing, right? <laughs> but he wasn't dancing to any music, just to the rhythm of the crack. Just, mm. Mm, 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 right? And as I looked up at him dancing, I saw a tooth fall out of his head. <laughs> and so I, being a young entrepreneur, <laughs> approached him and was like, sir, I just noticed that you lost a t I mean, technically they landed on my property, but I want to be respectful to you. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind part, you already parted with it, but I'm wondering if you would let me have your tooth. And then he said, Yes, sir, if I could have the tooth, that would help me out a lot. And he was like, give it to you for $5. And I was like, ugh, um, three. And so then I paid the man and went about my way, because in my head, I'm about to flip this anyway. You know what I mean? Take money to make money, right? And so then that night, I put the tooth under my pillow. I had sweet dreams of Lego sets and paid rent. And when I woke up, there was a grown man's tooth under my pillow. I was furious. I was so angry. And this is the thing. I know I'm the only one that thinks this, but I actually think that we should teach kids to curse, all right? Because one, they're going to learn anyway, OK? And two, one of the things that can make kids unbearable sometimes is they don't have the words to express how they're feeling, right? <laughs> like, if I woke up and saw the tooth and known the word damn, I would have just said damn and been done with it, right? <laughs> but because I'm little and I don't know any curse words, I was stomping around the house just like, ooh! <laughs> You know that? <laughs> you know like when you little and you get stiff legs? You're like, Ooh! <laughs> and my mom saw me and she grabbed me. She was like, baby, what's wrong? And I was like, <laughs> 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 
Because you know you can't talk when you little or you that bad. <laughs> my mom was like, calm down. Tell me what's wrong. Use your words. And I was like, <sighs> I put a tooth under my pillow last night. The tooth fairy didn't come. You supposed to give me a promise and she owed me money. And this is crazy. <laughs> and my mom was like, "You lost another tooth already?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> so then she had to go see. So she walked to my bed. She flipped over my pillow. <laughs> she went, uh, oh, Nick. Uh. <laughs> and then she grabbed the tooth and she was like, where did you get this? I'm like, from the man. She's like, what man? Because in my mom's mind, there's just like a grown man out there selling teeth. <laughs> Which I mean, she wasn't wrong.